Hello everyone, so we know the new UI of Discord absolutely sucks, but what if I told you it can be fixed through Venkord's quick CSS option, and if you had the UI fixed earlier with the uh, desktop visual refresh experiment and set it to not eligible, uh, that fix doesn't work anymore after you restart the Discord. It has been uh, removed a lot ago by Discord, and for those who for those of you who watch till the end, I have a small surprise for you, so stay tuned in for that. Now, the biggest problem with the UI is the style of server icons. Now, I don't mind the shape of it, but the size of them is straight hot ass. And even when changing the UI density in Discord's appearance settings, the server panel still has a lot of empty space which, which looks ugly. And thankfully Scabell, I probably pronounced that wrong, has created a fix for this. I'll have the links for all of these fixes down in the comments and remember that you do need to be in the uh, Vanguard's Discord server for the links to these uh, fixes to work. So when you come here to this message on the Discord server, copy it and paste it to the quick CSS editor like I'm doing right now. And as you can see, the server panel is now back to the original look and it looks absolutely magnificent and it doesn't have that useless empty ugly space around the server icons. Now next up on the list we have the account panel. Now I'll be honest it has started to grow on me but for those of you who don't like how it looks I have three solutions for it and the first one is by Evie. I probably announced it wrong again and probably will pronounce all the names in the list uh, very wrong so apologies for that so once again copy this uh, css thing and paste it to the quick css editor and once you've done that the account panel gets reverted to the old one as you can see now if you do like the style of the new panel but don't like it how it covers uh, your screen like the servers uh, don't worry uh, obsidian has created a solution for this too. So when you paste this code, it shrinks the account panel to the size of the old one, but it still keeps the style the new one has, so kind of like the smooth borders, edges, whatever you call them. And then the third one, it's different from these two. And this one actually makes the account panel like a circle with your profile picture in it, and uh, puts it to the left bottom corner of it. And once you hover your mouse on it, it will expand, giving you the options you need. So like if you're in the voice chat, it gives you the disconnect buttons and etc. And it isn't exactly perfect, like for example, it's not centered, but it is a cool concept. And if the centering problem would get fixed, I would definitely use this myself too. So one of the more annoying problems is the title bar on the top of your screen. And it takes a fair lot of space from the screen and shows nothing important, like only thing it has are the buttons to close Discord and that stuff, but it also shows the server name, which you can quite literally view from just a few centimeters uh, to the left of the title bar and bit down, like it's it's pretty stupid. So thankfully Chloe has come up with a solution for this. So. Once you copy paste this to the CSS editor, the bar will disappear and this way the DM icon will go to the top and you will have, you will have like a tiny bit more space to read the messages on the screen too, so it doesn't really matter that much, but it just brings that old Discord fight back a bit. Pretty much these things are the main fixes to the problems and now I'll be showing you guys uh, some other CSS things that don't affect the UI that much but makes the using of Discord a tiny bit better. So I'll start off with these quick reacts. Now I don't think anyone uses this feature and it just looks ugly and sometimes covers the messages if you have your Discord like uh, windowed for some reason and made it really small. So when you paste this to the CSS editor you won't have to deal with the quick react same more as you can see here. It just looks a bit cleaner also in my opinion. And now, the next thing really depends on what you prefer, prefer yourself the most, like, okay, I mean, the whole list depends on that. 
but still. So this uh, small like user views or panels on the member list when you click on a profile. I don't know what to call it to be honest. And they can be like fairly big sometimes and well not really but if you want, want them to be a bit smaller or more compact this CSS code by Blade 4208 or something I really don't know how to say this name. Uh, makes it a lot more compact and a little bit cleaner and it just looks a bit better in my opinion I like it and the final thing now that we've come to the end of the video is I want to show you this CSS cool thing that me and Jay the QT did so this CSS adds a glowing border to the account panel in the bottom left corner and the glow has a fading color change effect like as you can see on the screen it changes color Pretty smoothly and the colors can be of course changed to your liking and if the account panel looks weird to you like it's not wide enough or it's just straight as the positioning you can change it by tweaking these uh, position bottom position left and the width values so it fits your uh, screen better okay so uh, while editing I noticed that uh, I didn't show you guys how to change the colors so just quickly here uh, by changing all of these things uh, these ones you can change the color to whatever you like so yeah and with that we've come to the end of the video hope this helped and drop your thoughts in the comments also don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss out on any future content thank you for watching bye bye